Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be looking at 20 different Django project ideas. So as a Django developer, the best way to improve your skills is by practicing. And we practice by building different projects. Before we get into this video, let's have a quick word from the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by Ashnode. Ashnode is a community for developers who want to start blogging. With Ashnode, you can easily create your blog and start writing articles for totally free. Ashnode is also ad free. With Ashnode, you can gain access to some great features like having your own custom CSS. It is very SEO friendly, which means that other search engines can easily rank articles from your blog. And it also provides custom domain. Now this is very important so that you don't have your blog hosted on another domain. Others can easily access it from your own custom domain. Now, apart from writing your own articles or creating your own content with Ashnode, you can also read a lot of valuable posts and articles on Ashnode without paying a cent. So Ashnode is definitely worth checking out. So the first project on my list is an email automation app. So this email automation app is just to build your skills on how to send emails in Django. Now there are various libraries you can use. You can use the default SMTP. You can use SendGrid and some other ones. You can do more research into that if you're interested in building an email automation app with Django. It's a very good project and then you can even make it more broad like building a newsletter application and then from the newsletter, you can send emails to the newsletter with the email automation application. So you can do a lot with it. And the next one on my list which is the second one is a chat application. So this chat application is very important because it teaches you some other skills apart from just Django. It teaches you like sockets, Redis, and some other skills you might need. And it shows you how to do end-to-end -end encryption. So for privacy also, so only those two people can read the chat. Only the two people who are chatting can actually read the chat. So this application or this project is a very good project and it teaches you a lot of features in Django. The next one is a password safe application. So it's just um, an application for storing passwords. And you know that once you build an application for storing password, it has to be secure because what is being stored in there is passwords. And you don't want to save the password as just plain text in your database. You want to hash them. So you learn how to use all those features there's a lot of features in this the main feature is hashing the password into in from a normal text into a password hash or a password algorithm there's a way that is done and then when you want to show the password to the user but you want to show the user in a plain text so that's a very key feature that you might want to learn in django the next one is a django cms so now you can build a Django CMS just to improve your skills. This is actually very deep. You can take courses on it or tutorials on it just to dive deeper into the Django CMS. It's a very cool project to build and it will teach you a lot of features also. The next one is a note application. Now this is just a simple application you can just use just to play around with Django. This is mainly for beginners if you are getting started. So a note application is just a simple code CRUD operation, which is create, read, update, delete the database. So the create method is just to add a new note. The read is to read all the notes. The update is let's say you want to make a changes to a note and delete is to delete a note. So it's just a simple data manipulation application. The next one is a video chatting app. Now this is quite similar to the chat application. But the only difference is that you might be using an external framework or an external library which is going to allow you to connect two cameras together and chat in real time through video so you can do it there are some libraries which are my link down in the description which you can use there are some python libraries there are also some javascript libraries which you can include so any one you prefer is is a anything you prefer is good to go so the next one we're going to be talking about is a Django blog. So this is also similar to just a CRUD application, but if you want to take it further, like adding images to multiple, multiple times in a post, like commenting, like liking in a comment or liking a post or creating accounts. So other authors can also write. It's actually a very broad project, which you can dive deep into. 
it has a lot of features and i think you can learn a lot from building this project the next one is an e-commerce store if you know how to build an e-commerce store and you built it then you've learned a lot of features in Django, like a lot you've learned the file uploading the payments how to connect payment you've learned how to manipulate data a lot because an e-commerce is going to be with a lot of data there are a lot of things you can learn from building an e-commerce store if you think about it so i uh, also recommend building this application and the next one is a news app so a news app is just a simple display data display application so it just displays data the main thing about this news app is where we're getting that data from which is where we're getting the news from so we can use an api that's why i picked this project so you will learn how to use an api an external api into your django application so you can easily pick news in real time from other websites api and show it in your project the next one is a weather app so this is very similar to the news app it's just display of data you can use the open weather maps api that is the easiest and that is what i use so you can easily use that to just get the weather situation in a particular location it might be a state it might be a country if you just send a request with the name of the location it's also it's going to send a response back with the weather situation in that particular location I also have a tutorial on this I showed you how to do this so it's a very good application and you also learn how to use APIs in Django and a video subscription app so this video subscription app is is not complex but it's just quite above the basics because you are gonna be having payments and you're gonna be locking some videos and releasing some videos so some videos will be given to only users that have a subscription and some videos will be given to users that do have subscription so like let's say like netflix but you know netflix you need to subscribe to watch all the videos so the video subscription app you can also do it like that or you can make some content free and some paid so it's a very good feature because you will learn once again the payments how to include payments in django you learn how to lock some features you learn how to the relationship models the relationship database you will learn how to use those a lot as the many to many field the foreign key and all those type of stuff you're going to learn it in this type of project the next one i recommend is a quiz app now this might look simple but it's it's also not too hard but it's just uh let me say an intermediate project also because it also deals with data manipulation but the main thing about this quiz app is the ui so the ui you are giving to the user who is participating in the quiz you don't just want to have just a plain ui that just picks a b c d or something so you might use a, a little bit of javascript in here so you might have like some drop down or you might display some data relating to what the user picked before you can just let your imagination take you away so this project is actually personal you can do whatever you want to do in it but it also teaches you a lot of features and the next one is an automated web scraper now an automated web scraper what i mean is in python normally web scraping is just for getting data from websites so an automated web scraper with django you can just put let's say the name of a website or the link to a website and then you can put the html tag and then it's going to get the value in that html tag of that website or something like that so it's just something i came up with quickly because i think it it allows you to manipulate data which is not your own like data you get from external bodies it is actually a very good project if you test it out and a chatbot app so a chatbot app normally this is gonna take to you to know a little bit of ai or machine learning mostly national natural language processing if i got that right so if you know if you're into those fields and you also love web development mixing it up will be very good and if you don't want to go deep into that you can just use some external external frameworks or external apis which already allows you to just input a chat button to your application and the next one is a dynamic portfolio so what i mean by dynamic portfolio is let's say you have a portfolio which displays all the projects you've done or everything you've learned or the client you've worked with so whenever you want to you have a new project you've worked on or you just learned a new thing and you want to update it to your portfolio you don't need to redeploy that your portfolio 
you don't need to go to your code base and just add it you can build a dynamic portfolio in which all the projects which is showcasing or all the everything you've learned or your learning journey is gotten from the database so with django if you are using the django admin panel you can just easily link the projects and everything with the database so once you create a new project you just go add it in the database and it automatically reflects in the hosted the deployed project so you don't need to redeploy it that's what i mean by dynamic portfolio so it's not static anymore it's more dynamic and a poll app so this poll app is mainly the first application in which django itself recommends when getting started with django so it's a very simple application it's just for voting and the highest number of votes wins so it's just a very simple application just to learn some features in django and an affiliate website so i don't see this a lot on youtube or anywhere but i think it's a very good project in which you are going to allow users to have an affiliate link to your website and then once a user gets someone to click that the affiliate link or someone signs up through the affiliate link so something like a referral or so someone signs up to the affiliate link then the user will get a reward so you can use that in marketing your website or just want to improve your django skills and a diary app is very similar to a note app but in the diary app you want to put a lock to it or something and you want to put like a security questions and just tightened up security than just a note app and an interactive maps app is just for a geolocation so recently i built a project a personal project which allows you to locate yourself if you're lost so you're just going to add like an emergency group which is going to be phone numbers of other people and then once you're lost you just click a button and it's going to send a map to everybody you put in your emergency group so if you understood what i said so that kind of project uses this interactive map so it sent a frame of the map of the person current location to the people he or she added so interactive map means you can interact with the map so you can zoom out zoom in you can just interact with the map you can do some other things maybe you can search and to use all this you might not have the resources to get all the maps in the world but there are big tech companies we already does this for us so you can use like google maps api to do this easily and a machine learning web app this is the last one so earlier i talked about a chatbot and now i'm talking about machine learning web app they're quite similar because chatbot is also using a machine learning that's if you are building it from scratch and you're not using any external framework or website or anything so if you have an idea of machine learning and you have an idea of django you can mix it too why not you can use data to like you might have your models your django models of some people maybe your profile or stock prices or something and you can use machine learning to just predict the price in five years or something like that from your django app so it's gonna be a cool project if you test it out so that's gonna be all for this video i hope you enjoy everything all the projects i talked about and i hope you're ready to try one and all these projects I listed are in no particular order. I just, they're just random projects. So it's not from the basics to the advanced or anything. They're just projects which you can just pick and try out. So thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one.